He knows his way and knows little moves that normal players wouldn't know, and this looks good. This looks very good. Derby 跟斐宁索斯黄球线路真的是太帅了。魔王杰跟斯诺克瞬间赢得满堂喝彩。One. Not perfect. Derby 切进中袋，但是白球没有走到一个舒服的位置，停在了台面中间。现在黑球可以进攻，咖啡也可以选择。Derby 在思考，看看他会怎么办。So if he's going for this brown, big shot that. Mark Selby, one. 有些可惜，塞尔比咖啡没有打进。不过最后白球停在库边，虽然给多特留下机会，但是进攻难度非常大。It was just the pace he had to put into this that made it more difficult. And funny enough, we just noticed there that it was the brown that flicked the cue ball that knocked it to this top cushion. So it was a little bit fortunate there. Now, you could say, why doesn't he just push the yellow past the pink, play a snooker behind the pink? But after having one ball rolled off when he played it slowly, he'd be... Doesn't fancy that. He's going for this yellow. He's going for the pot. He's got it. As I say, he's a shot maker. This lad. He still needs green and brown. But what a pot on the yellow! Terrific. And judge that he'd missed the kiss on the pink. He's not bad on this green. Five. Oh, two absolutely fabulous shots that deserve to win the frame. Okay. Mark Selby will play on because he's desperate. This was a big, big frame, but Graham Dot produced two terrific pots there at the end of it to make him a hot favourite for it. I mean, if you were thinking of snookers, then that black's not in a bad position for snookers, but then having said that, it's not in a bad position for Graham either. Get me dressed. 作为零六年的世锦赛冠军得主，多特也不是省油的灯，人间先下手为强，被塞尔比安排上一杆错克。塞尔比这杆解球有些惊险，不过却因错得福。Well, I think Mark thought for a second that Graham could just get past the pink, but he can't. He's coming off the ball cushion. Can he still hit it on the way back? Is it going to run? Foul. Mark Selby, five. Well, frame back on. One snooker needed now. Well, here's that shot again. And the things that happen on a table 12 foot by 6 are quite remarkable. What a shot that was. And Mark Selby is pretty adept at getting snookers. He got one in the UK Championship against Ryan Day with a pink and black on the table. It was one of the best shots I've seen all season. Yeah, I remember it well. Yeah, he certainly knows his way around. He knows his way and knows little moves that normal players...
players wouldn't know, and this looks good. This looks very good. What a shot that is! Now, normally we say, if you, as we watch this tremendous shot again, absolutely perfect. But he needs side here. I'm a bit disappointed in it to hit the blue. He nearly missed it. I think Mark can clearly get through to the blue, but can't really do much with the cue ball, so if you can't get a snooker, make sure you get the object ball safe. Well, there's shot on here for Graham. He's got to avoid the in-off, obviously, in the top pocket, but you can come down and get pretty close to that black. Well, so much so he didn't fancy it. Didn't fancy the flicking off the black or anything that can go wrong. He decided against it, and I don't blame him. Five. Well, it was one of those, he had to hit it thin. I always feel with the pink and black on the table, you only get one chance of the snooker. Because if you don't get the snooker first time, then it's your opponent who will be just keep pushing the pink over the corner. Be careful, don't foul the black. So he gets another chance. Thin off the pink, straight down the table towards the black. Didn't really get into it enough. He was a little bit concerned there that if he caught it too thin, he could have knocked the pink over the corner pocket. It's imperative, of course, that he doesn't leave the pink on when attempting the snooker. Yes, it was slightly awkward for Graham that because he didn't want to play the shot and have the chance of missing the pink completely there. So. He knew full well he'd been bringing the pink down the table. So it was an awkward situation. Needs a bit of side to help that cue ball over and he didn't really get it. Yeah, it's just two away now.